What's up, YouTube? I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news, you have to work hard to make money. I know people have told you, you don't have to work hard. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. That's false. Now here's the good news. There are no rules to making money. Every day I get people who are like, what should I do? What are the rules? There are no rules to making money. And watch this video from the beginning to the end and I will teach you and show you there are no rules. There really aren't. If this is your first time here, welcome to Every Man's a Millionaire. I'm Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather, and I have a free gift for you. Go below and get your free money-making hustling books. I'm not gonna send a bill to you or nothing like that. But don't just download them, actually open them up and execute. So with that, let's get into this wonderful bean footage. 2009, I started this YouTube channel. And I started it with the express purpose to sell my books. Here's the deal. I wanted to be the great American writer and I knew that I needed to have income coming in while I wrote that great American novel. Funny thing happened along the way. I wrote my book, which was full of mistakes, and I should be really clear with this. My first book had typos, it had a crappy cover, it had a lot of things wrong with it. However, my book made $62,000 this first year. Then the second year, my book made $90,000. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, there are no rules to making money. Based upon the old economy rules, if you wrote a book that had typos, you were done, you were never gonna sell another book, you, your name was mud, right? First book, cleaned it up, issued out a second copy for free to people who bought the first book. Then the third year, I did 1.5 million. Now, if there were rules to making money, this should have never happened. There, because the, the way you make money writing a book is you submit your book to a publisher, you submit, the publisher signs you to a contract, they take your book, they clean it up, they put a nice cover on it, and within 12 to 18 months, they put it out. But see, when you sell your book to the publisher, and understand, you're selling your book to the publisher on a wholesale level, and they have to sell it wholesale to bookstores and Amazon and whoever. So the money that you get is like really, really small. Those are the rules if you follow them. But if you do what I did, and I only sold 2,000 copies of my book the first year, but I knew how to run a business. If there was a rule to making money, you should know how to account for money. You should know how to make sales. You should know how to market. But essentially with YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, podcasts, there are no rules to making money. If you think that you got to do X, Y, and Z to get your pie in the sky, to get your, that's simply not true. But the one thing that remains true, you still got to work. You still got to work really, really hard. But you can b get money. You can change the trajectory of your family. You can set your kids up. These times are so uncertain and that's great because when you have guarantees, guarantees come with a low paycheck. When you have no guarantees, which is high risk, it's a big, nice paycheck. There are no rules to making money. There are no rules to investing. There are no rules to real estate because I know people will push back and go like, well, you got to do this and you have to follow this algorithm and you have to follow this chart. And no, you don't. Because if you are willing to do the work, you're gonna find out stuff that the rest of the market doesn't know. And in that space, which is called information asymmetry, you have a marketplace advantage. Once again, I'll prove it to you again. This YouTube channel is not really that big, but it makes more money than 95% of YouTube channels. Why? Because I have been selling stuff since day one. If you go back to 2009, 2010, 2011, YouTubers be like, hey, I'm your friend. I'll never ever sell you anything. I'll never try to sell you anything. Dead YouTuber walking. They set themselves up for the okie doke because YouTube 
and this is Cameron's law, all third party platforms act in their best interest at some point, change the rules. So they were getting all of this money from sponsors and AdSense and oops, they changed it. Since I have been selling products and services, which a lot of people go, boo. His, his, you only want the money, man. His, his, you're supposed to be helping people for free. You're not supposed to. Work really hard and reap a reward. You're supposed to help all of us poor people who have no ambition, who, who really don't know what we want to do when we grow up for free and waste your time. If you charge money, you're a sellout. And that's what was the environment. That was the atmosphere of YouTube. Now, 2018, what I did in 2009 is the way to go. And I'm very good at it. And I'm ahead of most people because I've been doing it for almost 10 years, which is when you work hard, you find out things that other people do not know. I knew that you could sell on YouTube. I knew that you can move a lot of product and a lot of people never saw YouTube the way that people were seeing it now. And if I may, my business model will become the norm of YouTube in five to six years. Everybody will be doing it. And then when someone comes and sees this video five or six years from now, it's like, but everybody doing that. They're not going to look back at when I started in 2009 and nobody was doing it. They're, they're just going to go, people are lazy. People don't do research and people don't respect the technique. But anywho, there are no rules to making money. If you're willing to work hard enough and dig in your plant, your, your plot of dirt, like no one else has ever done, because this is fun. So I'm giving you two examples. There are no rules to making money. Go out, work hard, set your sights high. Uh, in my video, the rich people of Atlanta, there's a lot of conversation going on. And what I see is a lot of low expectations. If you don't want to live in a house like this, cool. But when you are talking it down, that tells a lot because I don't want to live in California. I like to visit more often. I was in Florida this weekend. I, I would like to visit Florida, but I don't want to live down there. And it isn't because I can't afford to live in there. I can afford to live just as well in California as I live here. It'll cost more, but I can do it. I can live really better in Florida because Florida's cheaper. I just don't want to do it. And I don't have to bring down California and I don't have to bring down Florida. I just simply don't want to live there. It's a matter of personal preference. Uh, for you folks who are watching this video, there will be a part two, as I indicated in the first video for the folks who watched it. Uh, thanks. The video's blowing up. Appreciate you people. And for all my hoteps and haters, keep hating, keep being jealous, and I'll keep making money. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.